Good morning students the previous class we have learned the decomposition of given fraction into sum of partial proper fraction is said to be resolving into partial fractions so under this we have uh, uh, discussed uh, type 1 and type 2 so type 1 is f of x by g of x is a proper fraction where g of x the denominator contains non repeated linear factor so if ax plus b is a uh, factor of uh, g of x then there exists a by ax plus b which is a partial fraction and a is to be determined and the type 2 is the denominator contains non repeated uh, repeated linear factors so for uh, each uh, repeated linear factor of uh, uh, g of x so we will be having a by ax plus b uh, b by ax plus b whole square c by ax plus b whole cube etc so these are what we have discussed before so we have started exercise 7 this question x square minus 2x plus 6 by x minus 2 whole cube so the denominator contains repeated linear factor so x minus 2 has been repeated thrice so we can solve this through the process of a by x minus 2 b by x minus 2 whole square c by x minus 2 whole cube so this is type 2 denominator contains repeated linear factors so instead of this and we have to solve a b and c here x equals to 2 is the only root or solution we are going to take and solve so one of uh, these three we will be getting the remaining two constants will be obtained through the process of comparing the coefficients on both the sides which we have done before so instead of this we can solve this uh, in the another alternative method that alternative is especially useful when the denominator contains the repeated linear factor only what does it mean along with x minus 2 whole cube x minus 3 should not be there here so let or let x minus 2 equals to y x equals to y plus 2 so this implies x is equals to y plus 2 whole square minus 2 into x is y plus 2 plus 6 by x minus 2 is y whole cube so you expand this y square 2 square 4 uh, 2 to the 4 y this is a plus b whole square minus 2 y minus 2 to the 4 plus 6 by y cube this is equals to y square plus 4y minus 2y is plus 2y 4 4 gets cancelled plus 6 by y cube a plus b plus c by d is a by d plus b by d plus c by d so this is equals to y square by y cube plus 2y by y cube plus 6 by y cube so y square times this is equals to this is 1 by y 1 by y is equals to x minus 2 plus 2 by y square is x minus 2 whole square plus 6 by x minus 2 whole cube so a by b by c by so a is equals to 1 b equals to 1 c is equals to b, uh, b is equals to 2 c is equals to 6 so if we proceed through this process it will be a lengthy with compared to this alternative method this alternative method is useful here second Roman first bit 
x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square. First of all, this fraction is of the form f of x by g of x where f of x and g of x are both are polynomials and the degree of numerator is 2 while the degree of denominator is 3. x into x square is executed. So, degree of numerator is less than that of degree of denominator. Therefore, this is a proper fraction. So, partial fractions can be used. So, here the denominator contains both re repeated and non-repeated linear factors. That is type 1 and type 2 being mixed together. Denominator contains x plus 1 non-repeated linear factor, x minus 1 repeated linear factor which is repeated twice. So, for a non-repeated linear factor, a x plus b which is a factor of a, the denominator g of x, there exists one partial fraction of the form a by a x plus b. So, this is a by x plus 1 plus x minus 1 whole square repeated twice. So, b by x minus 1, c by x minus 1 whole square. So, this is what we have done in type 2. So, this is the mixture of both the types. Now, the LCM is x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square. Now, See this x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square by x plus 1. This, this gets cancelled. So x minus 1 whole square into a. So this is a into x minus 1 whole square plus this is x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square by x minus 1. So this and this gets cancelled. So b into this is x square minus 1 plus this is x minus uh, 1 whole square into x plus 1 by x minus 1 whole square. So these two gets cancelled. So c into x plus 1 is equals to x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square. So, these two on both the sides got cancelled. So, we are left with x square minus x plus 1 is equals to a into x minus 1 whole square plus b into x square minus 1 plus c into x plus 1. So, here x minus 1 and x plus 1 are the two linear factors. So, x equals to 1 and x equals to minus 1 are the two roots. So, roots means they have to satisfy the equation. So, put the x equals to minus 1. Why x equals to minus 1? x plus 1 is the factor equated to 0. So, x equals to minus 1 is the root. So, put x equals to minus 1 and substitute here. Minus 1 whole square is 1. Minus x is minus of minus plus 1 plus 1. So, a into minus 1 minus 1. x value is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 whole square which is 4. This is minus 1 whole square is 1. 1 minus 1 0. So, whole b will be cancelled here. Minus 1 plus 1 0. C is also cancelled. So therefore, A is equal to, this is 3 by 4. Now, put X is equal to, put X is equal to 1. Substitute. So 1 square, 1 minus 1 plus 1 is equal to A into 1 minus 1 whole square. So 0. So here 1 square minus 1, 0. So, we are left with C into x plus 1, 1 plus 1, 2. C is equals to 1, 1 gets cancelled, so 1 by 2. Now, so the two 
are the row, uh, two are the factors. Therefore, x equals to minus one and plus one we have used. Therefore, we are not left with uh, any substitution. So now we have to compare the coefficients. Comparing the coefficients of, you can compare according to your will and wish. You can compare x square on both the sides or x on both the sides or constants also on both the sides. So compare the coefficient of x square I will take on both sides. So x square quotient is 1 on LHS. Here on expansion we will be getting this x square minus 2x plus 1. So x square quotient is a here. I will tell you a into this is x square minus 2x plus 1. So this is ax square minus 2ax plus a. So the quotient of x square is a here. So we don't require quotient of x and constant because we are comparing the quotient of x square on both sides. So x square quotient is a. Now here x square quotient is b. So here we are not getting any x square quotient here because it is only x and constant here. Now, this is equals to a already we got. So, substituting by 1 equals to 3 by 4 plus b. So, from this 1 minus 3 by 4 equals to b. From this b is equals to 4 1s are 4 minus 3 is 1. So, 1 by 4. Therefore, x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square is equals to the value of a is 3 by 4 by x plus 1 so 3 by 4 into x plus 1 plus the value of b is 1 by 4 by x minus 1 1 by 4 into x minus 1 plus the value of c is 1 by 2 by x minus 1 whole square. So 1 by 2 into x minus 1 whole square. So this is the partial fractions of this proper fraction. So if you see these are the three proper fractions. So proper fraction if you resolve then the then ultimately the sum of two or more Proper fractions only we are getting. Like last problem, this denominator again contains non-repeated as well as repeated linear factors. Both type 1, type 2 involved. So, this is a by x minus 1 plus b by this is type 1. So, here x plus 2. So, x plus 2 being the re repeated linear factor of this denominator. Therefore, for every no repeated linear factor, there corresponds to a partial fraction of the form a by ax plus b. Already a is used. Therefore, here b by x plus 2, c by x plus 2 whole square. Remember, a by ax plus b, if there is a another factor, a2 by ax plus b whole square we have n etc a n by ax plus b whole power n so here instead of a1 a2 a3 etc i have taken a b c since a is already used i have taken b and c now this is equals to x minus 1 into x plus 2 whole square is the LCM. So, x minus 1 into x plus 2 whole square by x minus 1. So, a into x plus 2 whole square plus b into x plus 2 whole square. This gets cancelled. We left with x minus 1 into x plus 2 plus c into this by this. x plus 2 whole square gets cancelled. c into x minus 1 is equals to 9 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 whole square. Cancelled. 
सो दिस इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन इज इक्वल्स टू ए इंटू एक्स प्लस टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस बी इंटू एक्स माइनस वन इंटू एक्स प्लस टू सी इंटू एक्स माइनस वन सो एक्स माइनस वन एंड एक्स प्लस टू और द टू फैक्टर्स एक्स इक्वल्स टू वन एंड एक्स इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू और वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू पुट फॉर एक्स इयर सो पुट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू सब्सिट्यूटिंग नाइन इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू प्लस टू इज जीरो होल स्क्वेर इन टू इयर दिस इज जीरो सो हियर ऑल्सो माइनस टू इफ यू पुट माइनस टू प्लस टू इज जीरो इन टू समथिंग जीरो सो वी आर लेफ्ट विथ सी इन टू द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज माइनस टू माइनस वन सो माइनस थ्री देर फोर सी इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री थ्री जर नाइन सो माइनस थ्री नाउ पुट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वन सब्सटीट्यूट नाइन इज इक्वल्स टू वन प्लस टू एक्स वैल्यू इज वन वन प्लस टू थ्री थ्री स्क्वेर नाइन इंटू ए नाइन ए हियर एक्स इक्वल्स टू वन इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट हियर वन माइनस वन जीरो इंटू होल जीरो हियर ऑल्सो वन माइनस वन जीरो इंटू सी जीरो सो देर फोर ए इज इक्वल्स टू वन now comparing the coefficients comparing coefficients on both sides so let us compare comparing quotient of x square on both sides you may even go for the comparison of coefficient of x or as well so 9 is equals to because on the dino on the numerator On the LHS, we don't have the quotient of x square. Therefore, zero is equal to. On expansion, we will be getting x square plus four x plus four. So, x square quotient is a. Here, x into x x square. Its quotient is b. So, from this, a plus b equals to zero. From this, b is equal to minus one. Because one minus one is zero. Therefore. Nine by x minus one into x plus two whole square is equal to a is one by x minus one b value is minus one by x plus two plus c value is minus three by x plus two whole square. Now the third question. 1 by 1 minus 2x whole square into 1 minus 3x. So here 1 minus 2x is the repeated linear factor type 2. 1 minus 3x is the non-repeated linear factor type 1. Combination of 2. So this is a by 1 minus 2x plus b by 1 minus 2x whole square plus c by type uh, 1. A by a x plus b. Since a b are used, so here it is on the form a x plus b only. This is minus three x plus one. Both are of the form a x plus b, standard linear factor form a x plus b. So this is equals to c by one minus three x. So one minus two x whole square into one minus three x is the LCM. Whole square. So one minus two x whole square into one minus three x by one minus two x. So this and this gets cancelled for once. So one minus two x into one minus three x a into one minus two x into one minus three x plus b into this by this one minus two x whole square one minus two x whole square gets cancelled one minus three x plus c into So this by this one minus three x one minus three x gets cancelled one minus two x whole square. Now this is equal to one by one minus two x whole square into one minus three x. So these two cancelled on both the sides. So one is equal to a into one minus two x 
into 1 minus 3x b into 1 minus 3x plus c into 1 minus 2x whole square. So, 1 minus 2x being a factor, make it to 0, 1 equals to 2x, x equals to 1 by 2. So, put that, x is equals to 1 by 2. So, substituting, we get 1 is equals to so here on substituting 1 by 2 here 1 minus 2 into x value is 1 by 2 2 2 gets cancelled 1 minus 1 0 the whole is 0 here and this is also 1 minus 2 into 1 by 2 2 2 gets cancelled 1 minus 1 whole square 0 into c 0 so therefore we are left with the b only so b into 1 minus 3 into x 3 into 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 so this is b into 2 on the 2 minus 3 minus 1 by 2 is 1. Therefore, b is equals to minus 2. Minus 3x is a factor equated to 0, 1 equals to 3x, x equals to 1 by 3. So, substitute here. So 1 is equals to a, uh, here, this 3 into 1 by 3 is 3, 3 gets cancelled, 1 minus 1, this is 0. And this is 0, we are left with C only. So, C into 1 minus 2 into 1 by 3 is 2 by 3 whole square. So, this is equal to 1 into C into 3 ones are 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, 1 by 3 whole square. So, from this C is equal to, this is 1 by 9, C is equal to 9. Now, Comparing the coefficients of x square on both sides. So we don't have any x square uh, quotient here. Therefore on LHS it equals to 0. So if you multiply this a into 1, 1 into 3x minus 3x minus 2x into minus 1 minus, minus 2x into 1 minus 2x minus into minus plus 2, 3 is a 6x square. So, that means this is a into 1 minus 5x plus 6x square. So, this is a minus 5ax plus 6ax square. a is a constant, but we are trying to compare the quotient of x square. Therefore, this we don't require. This is the quotient of x. This we don't require. So, x square quotient is 6a here. Plus, this is b into 1b minus 3bx. So, constant and x quotients we are getting. So, you leave it. Now, you come to here. c into, this is a minus b whole square, a square plus b square. 2x whole square is 4x square minus 2 to the 4 into x 4x. So c into 1 is a constant. c into 4x square. So 4c x square. x square quotient is 4c minus 4c x which is a x coefficient. So you leave it. Now 0 is equals to 6 into the value of a which we don't know. That is to be determined plus 4 into the value of c is 9. So this is equal to 4 9s are 36. This plus 36 if you transpose onto this side minus 36 equals to 6a. 6 6s are 36. Therefore a is equal to minus 6. Therefore 1 minus 1 by 1 minus 2x whole square into 1 minus 3x is equals to a value is minus 6 by 1 minus 2x plus b, b is equals to minus 2. So this is minus 2 by 1 minus 2x whole square plus c is equals to 9. So this is 9 by 1 minus 
3x. 1 by x cube into x plus a. So, x cube is the cubic polynomial. But x cube can be, can be reduced further. Reduced in the sense, be factorized. Okay, x cube is x into x into x. So, x is repeated thrice. So, this is a repeated linear factor. And x plus a is a non-repeated linear factor. Therefore, this is a by x plus b by x square plus this is c by x cube plus d by since a b c so uh, is over x plus a this is the form ax plus b first type 1 for each uh, repeated linear uh, non repeated linear factor of the denominator g of x there exists one partial fraction of the form a by ax plus b a by ax plus b since a, b, c constants are used therefore I will take d by ax plus b because this x, x plus a is of the form 1x plus a this is of the form ax plus b only so this is d by x plus a so on finding the LCM we will get x cube into x plus a so x cube into x plus a by x so x square into x plus a into a so a x square into x plus a plus x cube into x plus a by x square so so this is x times so b x into x plus a plus c into x cube into x plus a by x plus a x plus a x plus a gets cancelled so d into x cube so we we are left with this now so x cube into x plus a by x cube x cube x cube gets cancelled c into x plus a this is d into x cube into x plus a by x plus a these two gets cancelled d into x cube this is what we get now this is equals to 1 by x cube into x plus a these on both the sides got cancelled now x is the linear factor and x plus a is the linear factor so x equals to 0 and x equals to minus a are the two roots to that satisfy the equation so put x equals to 0 so 1 equals to 0 if you substitute here 0 square is 0 into the whole is 0 here also 0 into something 0 here also 0 cube is 0 so we are left with c only c into x value is 0 plus a which is a from this c is equals to 1 by a likewise put x is equals to minus a so 1 is equals to minus a plus a 0 into this 0 so minus a plus a 0 minus a plus a 0 so d into x cube is minus a cube minus a cube so from this d is equals to minus 1 by a cube so now we, we are not left with the, the substitution of x because x and x plus a are the two factors there therefore we have utilized x equals to 0 and x equals to minus a now comparing the coefficients comparing the coefficient of x cube on both sides so here on LHS we we only have 1 so x cube is absent x quotient of x cube is absent so 0 equals to so x square into x is x cube so there is a possibility of the quotient of x cube is coming here so x cube quotient is a 
x square into a is a x square. So this is the x square portion. But we are interested to take the x cube portion only. So and we are we don't uh, have here x cube portion other than this a. So x into x x square. X into a a x. So here quotient of x square and the quotient of x only we are getting. So x cube quotients we are not getting here. So here also x coefficient and constant. Here x cube quotient is d. So d a plus d. So from this a is equal to one by a cube because d is minus one by a cube. So a is equal to minus d. Minus of minus is one by a cube. Now comparing coefficient of x on both sides. Here we don't have any x here. So this is x cube plus a x square. So here x cube and x square portions are what we are getting. So we are trying to Take the coefficient of x. Therefore, we do not get any x quotient here. X into x x square. B x into a a b x. So this is b x into a. So the quotient of x is b a. Plus here the quotient of x is c. C x is this. The quotient of x is c. And the last one is x cube. So leave it. From this, b a is equal to minus c. So from this, b is equal to minus c by a. So minus c by a. What is c? One by a. So c minus the value of c is one by a by a. So one by a square. C value is one by a into a is already there, so a into a a square. So we got all the cons constants a, b, and c, d. Therefore, one by x cube into x plus a is equal to the value of a is one by a cube, one by a cube by x. So one by a cube x plus b value is minus one by a square into x square. So minus one by a square x square plus c value is one by a by x cube one by a x cube. D value is minus one by a cube. So minus one by A cube into x plus a. So this is the answer. So again, x minus three whole cube. The denominator contains repeated linear factor only. So the alternative method we have. Otherwise, we need to go for a by x minus three plus b by x minus three whole square c by x minus three and the values of a, b, c are to be evaluated. This is a little bit cumbersome and tedious method, lengthy method. So it requires x equals to three. We can use, but later on it requires the comparing quotient of x x square x cube on both sides etc. So otherwise, since the denominator contains the repeated linear factor only, so with this repeated linear factor, there is no another. Factor like x minus one or x minus one whole square etc. So therefore, the alternative method can be applicable for this. Let x minus three is equal to y. X is equal to y plus three. So x square plus five x plus seven y. X minus three whole cube is equal to the value of uh, The value uh, from this x equals to y plus three. The value of x is y plus three whole square plus five into y plus three plus seven by 
x minus 3 is y cube. So a plus b whole square. So y square 3 square 9 plus 2 3 is a 6 y. So a plus b whole square plus 5 y 5 3 is a 15 plus 7 by y cube. y square plus 6 y plus 5 y is 11 y. So 15 plus 7 is 22 plus 9, 31 by y cube. y square by y cube is 1 by y. 11 y by y cube is 11 by y square plus 31 by y cube. So replace x minus 3 with y. Then we will get 1 by x minus 3 plus 11 by x minus 3 whole square plus 31 by x minus 3 whole cube. 3x cube minus 8x square plus 10 by x minus 1 whole power 4. So the denominator solely contains the repeated linear factor. So the alternative method is applicable. Otherwise a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 whole square type 2 repeated linear factors c by so for every repeated linear factor of of g of uh, of a x plus b whole power n of the denominator g of x there will be a partial fraction of the form a by a x plus b a2 by ax plus b whole square a3 by ax plus b whole power 3 if n is 3 so these are if uh, there are n uh, linear factors repeated linear factors etc an by ax plus b whole power n so a1 a2 a3 etc an are to be determined so instead of a1, a2, a3, etc., I will take a, b, c, d. So c by x minus 1 whole cube because this x minus 1 is of the form a x plus b only. x minus 1 is 1 x plus minus 1. So this is of the form a x plus b. This is the linear factor c by so d by x minus 1 whole power 4. So in this way we have to do otherwise the alternative method for this is or simply x minus 1 equals to y x equals to y plus 1 so this is 3x cube by minus 8x square plus 10 by x minus 1 whole power 4 is equals to 3 into the value of x is y plus 1 whole cube minus 8 into y plus 1 whole square plus 10 by x minus 1 is y power 4. Now this is 3 into a plus b whole cube a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube a cube y cube plus 3a square b 3 into y square into 1 plus 3ab square 3 into y into 1 square 3y plus y cube b, uh, b cube 1 cube 1 minus a into y square plus 1 plus 2y plus 10 by y power 4 now this is 3y cube 3, 3 is a 9y square minus 8y square. It is y square. 3, 3 is a 9y. 8, 2 is a 16y. So, minus 7y. 3, 1 is a 3. Minus 8 plus 10. So, 3 minus 8 plus 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. 
this is plus 5 by y power 4 this is equals to 3 y cube by y power 4 by y plus y square by y power 4 is y square by y power 4 is 1 by y square minus 8 by y cube plus 15 5 y y power 4 so this is equals to 3 by the value of y is x minus 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 whole square minus 8 by x minus 1 whole cube plus 5 by x minus 1 whole power 4 3 3 is a 9 minus 8 2 is a 16 so 6 minus 9 plus 16 is minus 7 so this is 7